Hello, hello, my friend. This is Jeanette filming from the city of San Antonio, Texas. In this, you won't believe it, but it's my first video of the week. Um, I welcome all of you. If you are just tuning to my channel, my friends, I welcome you with all of my heart, wishing nothing but the best for you and your life. I am planning for today's video, my friends, to do a tutorial slash review because I've been receiving uh, some uh, latest uh, purchases I've done and I want to um, introduce you with these new products. Some of them are recent, recent, recent releases. More product I've been receiving from Dolce and Gabbana, my friend, to complete not the whole collection, but some of them. Blushes, contour, we are going to be reviewing everything. I'm going to use and try one more time the Blueberry Nutri Tint, the new recent launch from them. And I'm being receiving new product from Sicily Paris. I got as well on my past order um, two more lipsticks, the Hyper Matte the monochrome hyper matte from Prada lipsticks we're going to be reviewing what it is about and as you know if you review my past videos my friends I have almost all the collection but I really love the hyper matte formulation I've been re reviewing the soft matte but I still preferring the hyper matte I have a tendency for my lips to get extremely dry, but it is something that we're going to be talking about the formulation from Prada uh, on this product because these are supposed to be matte, but it is something in this formula, friends, that not only the long wearing of the product on your lips it is unbelievable but this is the most long lasting of the product I ever try so in for first time friends I did an order on Lisa Eldridge some of the eyeshadow palette that I want to review with you as well talking about the beautiful and positive thing friends the new product you know i recently ordered i need to be working with this product from sicily paris beautiful product beautiful infusion beautiful quality on these formulas um i invite you to subscribe to my channel like and comment my friends i invite you to stay with me through the process of this beautiful new makeup tutorial slash review and I'm going to start with this beauty from Christian Dior is the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter and I'm going to be using for today's makeup look the shade 1 I love it my skin is already prepped friends this product I don't have enough to say how beautiful it is literally you can see the glow right away it's, it's so moisturizing friends this is the shade one i am a true light complexion so this is and what i'm using as my primer today and we're going to proceed friends with this stunning beauty from dolce and gabbana which is the blueberry nutri tint um hydrating skin um, radiance product than Dolce & Gabbana recently launched and I pick for the for my skin I am a true light I pick the 7 neutral Okay, 
Hi friends, this is one coat of the Nutri Tint Blueberry from Dolce & Gabbana. As you was able to observe, the tint had a yellowish finish, okay? Um, the coverage on this Nutri Tint, I would love to say that it can be easy categorize like a light to medium and buildable. Consistency, very thick. Texture of the product is silky, very silky. Super easy to blend. The coverage is so amazing, friends. I have blue veins here, capillary veins. Emulsion, you know, you can perfectly uh, apply this product around your eyes. It's very moisturizing, not like a sticky type, it's not a sticky at all. I'm pretty in love with my new purchase. I'm using um, the setting powder from Anna Sui, shade 300. all over my eyelids. This powder is microfine with an ultra finish effect. Had a blurring effect and the most important for me about this powder, friends, it is that this powder doesn't dry the skin of my eyes doesn't look powdery and light or illuminate even better the skin of blurring effect is a beautiful loose powder quality for my eyes as a concealer I did use Givenchy Prisma Libre Skin Caring Concealer. This is the Anna Sui. Look how beautiful is the detail, the container. You have to buy the powder separately and the case separately. How an stunning production from Anna Sui. I've been recommending this powder, friends, because you don't like uh, to dry, but you you want to set the product on your face, but you, because this can be used in eyes and face, but you don't want for the powder to mattify your skin. Flaking it, this Anna Sui is beautiful, 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 and I've been recommending it, friends, because. When I put the powder, you know, I read all about it. And the first time I tried, friends, I was like, oh my, where I'm been all this time? And I didn't try, you know, her product, but she had a stunning, amazing makeup. For my eyes, friends, I'm going to keep teaching as I'm going to keep emphasizing, friends, their circle. To conceal their circle is not the most easy thing to do, okay? Because it can take time to time until you find out what kind of product, what kind of color corrector or CC is going to work best for the color of your dark circle. If, okay, this is the result from being black, bluish, that look like a, somebody give me a punch um, to this. For this, this I am in heaven, okay? The formulation from Givenchy is one of the most stunning formulas you can find on the market. And I'm going to start getting ready, my friend, to begin into this new makeup tutorial. And 
I'm going to be introducing you as well to the, my latest high-end or luxury product. I want to give you a little um, statement regarding the performance of the foundation of the Nutri Skin Tint from Dolce & Gabbana. Seven Neutral is the shade I just applied to my face. The product has a tremendous blurring effect. As you apply the product, my, you notice that look kind of yellow, but once then you apply it, it blends amazingly with your skin. So my skin look, or the product look on my skin like a skin like doesn't emphasize the lines of my expressions or is not sitting, is not forming patches. I'm very happy. For my eyebrows, I did, as you already know, one of my favorite products, which is Benefit Cosmetics, the Brow and Setter. I'm using shade top. I want to introduce you to this stunning palette I purchased last year. Okay. It's the Natasha Denona pastels. Because as, as I've been explaining in this um, upcoming summer friends, we have a little bit of everything. It's going to be very, very in smoky eyes, it's going to be very in bull eyes, it's going to be very in pastel eyes, liner, color, colorful liners. So it makes me very happy because it's going to give us, you know, the opportunity to be playing around many products, you know, many colors, many fun makeup looks. Hello, my friends. I'm here with one eye done. As I promised you uh, in the very beginning, I was having uh, a desire of being uh, working with pastel shades. One of the product that was recently launched and it is Dolce & Gabbana. I dare you. Friends, what made this palette so special? Okay? It is just the only fact that this palette have all of the shades that we're going to be using the most on this upcoming summer. The purpose of my channel, my friends, is to put myself on the spot. What happened if I don't have the money to afford for a palette like that? And I want to do pastel work. That palette is being categorized as a palette of the bold looks. Okay? But anyway, you can do anything with that palette because uh, the range of the pigmentation, friends, is this just in another level. We're going to start by this. I introduce you with this stunning palette from Natasha Danona Pastels. Last year, in a promotion, I got from Colourpop all this gel or slash paint matte shades, okay? Look at this preciousness. I bought it, uh, was uh, retailed for an $87, but I, I bought it because it's a uh, 369 shades full size okay I bought it in promotion the product couldn't be more stunning friends since we're talking about pastel shades you can use this blue okay as the base on the eye or if you don't have this, you can just go straight 
with the palette from Natasha Danone. I did use the gel slash paint on my eyes, on the inner, here, but thinking if what happens if you don't have, okay, that product or a product even doesn't look a lot like that one. So what I'm going to do, friends, I'm going to start applying on the inner of my eye. This is stunning blue. It's, it is like a baby blue, this one. Look green, but when you diffuse the shade, translate as a baby blue. Before we start this eye, I would like to show you how this look on the hand. I'm going just to grab a tiny little bit of this product because I don't want to waste it. A little diffuse or blending of the product, friends. Look at that. Okay, if you have to compare this with this shade, this is a slightly bit more softer. And the other thing with this with this product, you need to work really fast because as you apply it, it sets almost immediately. Let us go with the Natasha Danona. So we are going to start diffusing. This is turning shade on my inner. So I took the product all the way from my inner in direction to my crease, above the crease. Okay. So concentrating the product mainly on the inner portion of my eye. Okay. So now from the same palette, I'm going to start diffusing this beautiful, uh, it is a gorgeous purple, friends. Oh my, there. Okay, it's the shade I did apply here just to help me to give the form. Because we have to provide a structure okay to the eye depending on your eye shape okay now I'm going to proceed and apply this beautiful uh, quarter shade to minimize a little bit right this shade and I want to soft it's a beautiful shade, you know, to work and to cancel a little bit of the blue as well. You see? So it's helping to provide your transition to this blue. What a beautiful product, friends. Wow. Now with a clean blending brush, another blending brush, and proceed and apply this beautiful and more intense blue. Into the inner. This is just working 
uh, with a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. Yeah, definitely this one uh, for reasons look a little bit more softer in on intensity than this other one. And we're going to keep working to even this slightly bit even more. Closer, but definitely color pop gel is way way better okay as a base so more or less this is what we have because of course this base make the whole difference look how dry it is so either way the shade is just stunning these colors that i'm working right now friends they are all coming from the same family okay there is one one important thing to know it is a beautiful i make up look friends imagine you are extremely tan and you want something quick this is a very quick I make a look and now I'm going to proceed and apply the 1.5 gel liner from Hourglass on my upper waterline, okay? With both eyes done. Okay, I'm going to proceed and apply uh, this stunning mascara from YSL's Lash Clash from YSL. The volume that this produces on my eyelashes, it is just impressive. Look at this. Oh wow, friends. not only produce lengthening but it is a lot of volume and i'm going to explain what i did okay on this inner portion of my eye on the inner i start as a base using color pop this is stunning blue i'm looking outside friends because a storm is coming so on this eye thinking we don't have that product. I went straight with this shade. On the pen, it is translated as a green. But look this magic friend. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. This is just insane. It is a blue. Okay? So, since I have this one and we can use it, as a demo right for you to understand how to use it when you use it how much you can apply this it is like a, any gel base you have to move it quickly because it's going to have the tendency to dry really fast this eye is all eyeshadows okay as you already know look what is happening there so on top of that shade I did apply this baby blue on top of this and look like a green but it's not a green and look the brightness that this product produces friends that is what you can observe on this eye I know because I'm looking at the mirror this look slightly bit brighter because of the gel base and this one looks slightly bit slightly bit softer okay but both i think so they are just stunning my loves both shade because the whole of this makeup look friends was about the inner part okay to enhance the inner part 
I proceed with a Dior show, if I don't mistake. Uh, yeah, Dior show on a state crayon, friends. And I did use this beige or nude color. Okay, sometimes I use white, but depending on the I makeup look, I use this nude color. I just love it. Friends, really inexpensive. It is, if it is the case, you are ready to rock on this summer, but you don't have any product, you know, with pastel shades, go to color pop because I'm more than positive, my loves, more than positive that, and I hope that they still having this product available. What an stunning investment I did like a dynamite. Uh, let us say that Chanel, they launch this Rivage that come as well with similar shades. Because we can create the same makeup look, thinking, you know, uh, that we are going to be on this stunning summer. I did this, this makeup look today because when I woke up in the morning, it was super uh, sunny. And all in a sudden, friend, is super dark. So you can see this shade over here. Look at this. The same baby, baby blue with the same concept and a shimmer. Both there. Okay. So the only thing that the shimmer from Chanel are really chunky, friends. Formulation wise, I would love to say that I stay with Natasha Danona in certain things because the creamy texture, okay? Because at the end, that is everything that matters in a product. The creamy texture that the woman creates on her product, friends, are just stunning. Are it silky, the metallic shade, dual crumbs. They are all like a dry wet formulas, metallic, like I'm saying, um, what an stunning, what an stunning makeup artist we have in here. So Chanel, they have this other one, you see, pastel shades, you can even combine this palette with a blue rivage because the top shades are pink so you can easy make something really nice with this if happen then you got a palette but you don't know how to use it this is a very simple very wearable I make a look and I would love to start it by introducing you to the star of this makeup look which is this blueberry nutri tint from Dolce & Gabbana Friends, if happen that you have the opportunity and you can invest in one of these beautiful product, go for it, friends, because the infusion of this product, friends, had a lot of bunch of antioxidant, moisturizing effect, uh, moisturizing properties. I already show the 03 Hopeful Rose shade of blush from Dolce & Gabbana. I'm going to upload a, in a few more hours a video using 03 Hopeful Rose from Dolce & Gabbana. My friends, the formulation of this product are a game changer again it is highly pigmented hydrating anti-aging creaseless long wearing what else I can tell you so this is the zero throw and what to talk about the packing friends is just luxury is pure luxury 
for $52. Now I'm coming to another shade, Chicks and I Match. And the shade I'm going to expose right now, it is called Zero 2 Joyful Peach. Look at this presentation, my friends. Oh my. This is heavy. Oh, friends, look at this. Sometimes, my loves, you know, it's so many products on the market right now. So many different companies launching blushes and all that. Sometimes I just rather, you know, to invest in a very good product that I know I'm going to use a lot, easy to carry up. Friends, this, the, the texture of this powder is like a, a gel cream powder. The next one is the 04 Cheerful Pink. Okay. And I think the Dolce & Gabbana did a stunning great job, friends. So I like it because all of the blushes come with this white cover. This is so beautiful, my friend. It's so stunning. It's heavy. Look at this chai, friends. This product are highly pigmented. Load, let us do and try this one or both. Okay, so we can create a transition. As you understand, our faces are not pure pink, pure peach, pure red, pure olive. We have a little bit of everything. Okay, so we're going to start with these shades. And let us do the magic. Refer brush. And I'm going to start my loves by applying for the first time Joyful Peach. We're going to create a gradient between the pink and the peach okay you can stay with one but I'm going to be teaching this technique when you apply this product friends any blush always the first stroke go very top okay if you start here you can end with a patch Okay, this is what we have. Had a luminous finish, even though I can stay there and look stunning. Because remember, we have peach there. So let us try this stunning shade, and it's the stronger of the shade, the 04. Okay, cheerful pink, if I don't mistake. Look how pigment that this product are. So again, oh, friends, mm, the color is just a dream, friends. Look at this. Oh, friend, using the zero Two peach zero four cheerful pink from Dolce and Gabbana, France. It is my latest purchase I've done regarding blushes with the Dolce and Gabbana company. My friend, I'm going to be listing all of the product I am demo today so you can have access to. This is stunning production from Dolce & Gabbana. It is just in a different level, friends. So now 
I'm coming to the 02 light medium bronzer from Dolce & Gabbana. It's called Face and Nice Match. So meaning you can use this product as well for your eyes. Okay. So you want to see the difference between one and another one. This is the blushes and this is the bronzer. Friends, for example, if you are traveling and you want to pack some product, you have the perfect sizes here. Look at this stunning packing, friends. Oh my, this is my hand. Again, the weight of this case is very sustainable, you know, with a high quality in case. It's a click, you press and you open. So let us see how this stunning product is going to behave. The 22, okay? Because it's long, longer bristles and more softer, okay? The other one is a slightly bit firm. So I'm going to start applying, friends, this product, okay? On my cheeks, I'm going to dip a slightly bit on the product, okay? And let us not why not to start from the forehead. Texture is friends, it is an airbrush, it's giving me an airbrush finish. <gasps> Just to give a look at this, oh, friends, oh, friends, look at this. My friends, I just finished applying the 02 light medium bronzer from this stunning production and recent launch from Dolce & Gabbana. I am a true light. So, texture of the product is airbrush. Silky, with a natural, beautiful, shiny finish. It's a glow than the product it producing on my face, friends. It is the combination of everything. Don't forget I use the foundation, the tint, I'm sorry, the blueberry Nutri Tint. I am just mesmerized with the quality, friends, of all of this gorgeous, gorgeous product. I have no other word. I'm going to be listing every single of the product I demo today. Everything that came to my, my face, everything, how I feel it, how... The product is performing from the, from the time, friends. I did apply the Nutri Tint. Let me tell you, it is intact. It is impeccable. I invite you, please, kindly to subscribe, like, and comment to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Because here, friends, I'm always going to be telling you the truth. That is the main thing. It's nothing personal when I can approve, okay, a product. Um, simply because it is my word you know to you friends uh, recommending a product and I can never recommend a product if the product is not meeting the criteria the minimum criteria okay I got two new shades on Prada it is the hyper matte monochromatic lipsticks let me put my glasses so the first shade I did order is the PF P58 P58 and is the Cheta Morris. Look how sunny. You know get this product friends. It is the reason why Prada it is Prada. 
the prices of Prada, friends, as the prices that you can see on this beautiful, precious product here are because of reason, okay? You might think, okay, it's very little product from this. But friends, this is really expensive to make, okay? So the presentation of the product had a lot to do. You produce a click and you can remove this because it's completely refillable. Look at the stunning tip of this product, friends. The lid is magnetic. Let me proceed and make a swatch. Tamaris. It's a beautiful, stunning rose, mauve, a little bit brighter than a mauve rose. And the next one is the P55. Ooh, P55, fuchsia. And all of these product friends are being ordered, oh, every single of the product from Dolce & Gabbana website, Prada website. I didn't use uh, the promotion from Sephora, okay? So all of these products are coming directly from the website inside. This is stunning, you know, mint green detail. So beautiful. If you can just touch this packing, friends, is heavy, it's so well made, friends. This is the shade, Fuchsia. I wanna make sure that I didn't release Fuchsia. Fuchsia shade, oh wow. Look at this. What I keep investing on this, this might be like a probably Fuchsia, my number. Let me see how many I have. Uh, four, six, eight, nine, ten. I have ten shades and I'm going to complete the collection. And why I'm recommending this product. For fall winter, when they release that product, the lipsticks, okay, um, I remember I was doing it motivated, you know, because of the channel, one thing, two, because I love the brand. I went to Chile, imagine, it's not around the corner. Oh, look at this. I went to Chile, friends, and it was my birthday. Um, I took with me a few of the stunning eyeshadow. Dimension, Pure and Poetry was three of them that I so far remember. I did my makeup. I went to a very fancy dinner. I ate. I was drinking juice like crazy because the restaurant that we went is one of the 28 on the world that is located in Chile, it's called Borago, okay? So they display, you know, so many natural juice that you have to try, made with flowers, uh, fruit, just name it. Anyway, I remember, oh, this match very pretty with this lip liner from uh, Make Up Forever, whatever walnut. Wow. And I was a little bit concerned because when a product is matte, since I suffer from dryness on my lips, <clears throat> look at this shade. I was wanting to try this one because I just got it, Tamaris. And um, but anyway, to make the story short, my loves, I went to the restaurant. We were there like uh, two and a half, three hours because it was a total of uh, 13 course of food. And I remember cleaning, touching, drying my lips. I went to the bathroom, I drank water. I came back to the table, friends, and the lipstick is still on 
through 13 different courses of food. When I saw that, and friends, when I pay attention that my lips were not even feeling dry, considering that it is called the hyper matte monochrome, monochrome uh, lipstick. Friend, the moist you feel on this formulation prevent that mm -hmm. your lips, you know, go completely dry. As you can observe here, I can still move in slightly bit the product just to feel, you know, and to give that kind of a airbrush effect. Friends, the product lasts me, not kidding, seven hours, probably eight hours, because I went for a walk with my husband after the, the dinner and friends and the lipstick is still, you know, on my lips. So, Tamaris and Fuchsia. Highly recommended. If happen, you have dry lips like me, friends. This so far, okay? Because I have to say, so far it is the only matte formulation in which my lips doesn't dry. The velvet silky soft texture of this pigmented very pigmented lipstick friends are doing a magic thing so friends highly recommend it. please if you haven't tried i know that a lot of people were trying the the soft uh, matte is the difference between the soft matte and the monochrome matte, the, the monochrome shades hyper matte these are highly in pigment, okay? Are highly, highly pigmented. The soft matte have pigmentation, but it's way less than this. So don't lose your sight from something like this because it's one of those products that you find one time, maybe in life. Friends, on this blush, as you can observe, it is um, an orchid, it, it is a flower shape, okay? Each shade that you see is a different color, okay? So, I did apply here, one, two, and three. Is the pink, the most pink shade that you can see over there, the outside is the one in the middle, and is is. It is like a, a baby, you, I translate it like a baby kind of coralish shade, but very soft. And then you have even one softer shade over there. And here is the combination of the three together. Okay. This is the number two blush from Sicily Paris. I know that this is not a, a brand uh, new release, friends. It is not. This product is been a while already on the market. So what is a, a brand um, a new release from Sicily is this foundation. I demo a few days ago. Stunning product, friends. Oh my, stunning. What I can tell you, friends, stunning along with the investment I did in these two gorgeous it is been all about lipsticks blushes and look at this beauty friends this is, is more or less like a fuchsia shade the name on this one Rose Deli 23 rose daily. Look at the stunning packing friend. Wow. It's not as fancy the encase as Prada. Prada is way, way beyond. I think it's the best of the best. I have seen so far 
not only product wise infusion wise but in case so this other one from Sicily it is called the 22 and rose Paris look at this beautiful chill friends is uh, those kind of a uh, like a watermelon oh, these are satiny the texture on these lipsticks friends are just stunning and I love it so much the formulation and I really want to get more shades so far I have this three and the lip twist Litchi. I love the infusion on this product, friends. You know me, and I have a beautiful favorite product. But with this, friends, I hope that you really enjoy this time with me, that you have a relaxing time checking on all this beauty I show you today because my, my videos are tutorial and review along with this stunning eyeshadow palette from Lisa Eldridge. This is going to be the next baby you now on the screen. So thank you very much my friend. If you have any questions regarding these formulas, I just demo today. Don't hesitate and shoot me a message so thank you again friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and comment all of my videos are filmed for k i hope that you really enjoy this makeup look friends thank you very much i send you a lot of blessing and see you very soon on the next one mm -hmm.